Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening and reviewing some of the Truly Me sets from American Girl. I did just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for sending me these items for free to review on my channel. This video is aimed towards adults to get an idea of the overview of the set to decide whether or not they'd like to purchase the product. So if you are new to my channel, welcome, be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to be notified every time I upload a new video. So let's go ahead and open up the first item. The first set we'll be taking a look at is the Xbox Gaming Set. It retails for $50 at American Girl, and there is a detailed photo on the front of the box to give an overview of what's in the set. So let's go ahead and open it up. The first item we'll be taking a look at is the Xbox controller. It does look very realistic and looks a lot like the life-size item. We have the classic buttons over at the front. There are also some handles on the side, and there is the Xbox logo in the middle as well. And I would have to say the material of the item is a plastic material and it's quite lightweight too. The set does include two different game options. The first one is called Blocks and the second one is called Dance. They are very simple designs on the front of them but it gives you an idea of what the game would be like. If you take a look at the back there is some classic writing and a barcode too. And as I said before, the other item in the set is called Dance. It seems like it's very similar to Just Dance, and you can go ahead and open up both of these items as well. And inside, there is a disc that is removable. You can go ahead and take that out, and you can place it in the gaming console, which makes the set quite interactive. I'll be showing this later on in the review, but there are a total of 10 different gaming scenes that you can display in the console. The next item here is a wireless gaming headphone set, which is definitely very common to see within gaming, especially for boxing as well. It does have an adjustable mic where you can move it up and down. Besides the main feature of the set, which is of course the chair, we do have the game console here, and it is of an Xbox One. It does look very realistic. It does have the classic details of what an Xbox One game console would have. When you lift this tab up, there is a small little circle there, and that is the projector. I have one of the discs here, so you're able to place it into the compartment, then it should project the different images. And if the images aren't projecting very clear, you also change the tab over at the front, and that should help with the focus. I have just put batteries in the projector, and this is what it looks like. There are a total of five different photos, and this is the blocks game. The quality is really good, and there's so many details to each photo. And here's the other game, Dance, and it's a lot like Just Dance, where you have to try and copy the dance moves that they're showing. There's five different photos as well, and they're all quite bright and colorful. And the last item in the set, to complete it, there is a faux leather game chair, and it does have a built-in speaker included, which includes a cord that plugs into your personal device, whether that's a phone or an iPad, in order to play music or other sounds. That's definitely quite unique, so it's not just a chair, it has multiple different features included. And there are also a few different buttons over the back of the chair. One adjusts the sound, and the other one switches it on or off. Overall, I would recommend the set. It does come with some really detailed accessories, and it's also quite an interactive set as well. So now it is time to go ahead and review the next item. The next set we'll be taking a look at is the That's How We Roll PJ set. There's a photo in the corner of the box showing all the different items available. It is themed to sushis, and it seems like it comes with multiple different pieces. So let's go ahead and open up the box. The first item in the set is the PJ shirt. It's a lovely mint green color, and there's also some salmon pink stitching along the sleeves and the front of the shirt. It says American Girl on it, and there are multiple different designs of different types of sushi, and there's Velcro on the back too. The next item here are the shorts. They're a light pink color to match the stitching on the shirt, and there is a design of sushi on the front and on the back as well, and there's elastic on the waist too. The next item in the set includes some slippers. They're quite plush and thick, and they're a mint green color. There is elastic on the back, so the foot stays in place. And to finish the set off, it includes a hair tie. Here we have an overview of everything a part of the set. It does come with some really great items, and the quality is great too. It also ties in with the next set I'll be taking a look at. I would definitely recommend this. It has some lovely springtime colors. The next set we'll be taking a look at definitely ties in with the PJs that I just opened up earlier as they both have a theme of sushi. So here we have the sushi accessories. It's called the Out for Sushi set. There's a photo on the box to show everything included. So let's go ahead and open it up.
The first item that's a part of the set is the platter. This is where you place all of the different food items. It is pretty lightweight because it's made out of a plastic material, if you can hear that, but it does look pretty realistic. The next two items in the set are these lovely plates. They're such a bright, bold red color, and there's also some flower designs on the side. There are multiple different types of sushi included in the set, so here we have the first two. They are identical, and there are two pieces of sushi that have been stuck together. They aren't removable, and they come in one piece. And let's take a look at the other pieces of sushi. So this one over here is stuck together. It's very similar to the other one, but it's a different style of sushi. And then the other two pieces over here are separate, so you can place them on different plates, but they do look very realistic. There is a sauce dish over here. There are a total of three different types. The middle one is soy sauce, of course, and there are also two sets of chopsticks. And last but not very least, there are two cups included in the set, and they have the very similar flower design that's on the plate as well. They're a lightweight plastic material in case if you're wondering. Here is an overview of everything included in the set. Even though most of the items here are made out of plastic, I would definitely recommend them due to the amount of detail that's been added to these items. This furniture accessory set seems to be quite interactive. It's called the 3-in-1 Game Night Set. It includes air hockey, foosball, and ping pong, so you can go ahead and rotate it depending on what game you'd like to have set up. So let's go ahead and remove it out of the box. So now that we've removed it out of the set, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the game pieces. So the first set we'll be taking a look at are items from the air hockey game. So there are a total of three black discs at the bottom. There are lightweight plastic material and there's the classic American Girl star in the middle. And then these two items on the top here are paddles and they have quite a soft base. The next game accessories we'll be taking a look at belong to ping pong. So there are two ping pong paddles and three ping pong balls. I do have the third one here, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how it bounced. It's quite a rubbery material. It's not made out of plastic, so it does bounce, so it should be quite realistic. There are, of course, handles on the actual paddle itself, so it's easy to hold onto, and it has the same design on both sides. These items are for two different types of games, so the three balls on the bottom are for the fuse ball table, and you can tell the difference between the two different types of balls that come in the set, because this one's quite hard, it's made out of plastic, and it doesn't bounce at all, and this piece here is for the ping pong game, it's just a regular net, it's a plastic material, in case if you were wondering. Here's an overview of all of the game accessories included in the set. It's really great how you're able to distinguish the different games between air hockey, ping pong, and foosball as well. So now it is time to take a look at the main game set itself. So I haven't added the legs in yet for the table to turn it into a game stand, but I'm just showing you the base and idea of how it works. But it does have the main features and the workings of a foosball table, which is really great. There are a total of two different teams. There's the teal team and the red team. And of course, there's the goalie in the middle that will try and block off all of the different goals. They do spin around in a circle and there is a handle on either side depending on what team you're in. You are also able to keep track of the score itself so you're able to see who's winning. The other item that I showed you earlier was the main part of the table, but this section is the cover and there are a total of two games included on this. So on this side, there's air hockey with the classic goals. And then when you flip it over, we have a classic table. You can have it like so or else you can turn it into a table tennis table. There's a classic logo design on either side and it's a teal color too. Let's go ahead and add in the net so we can turn it into a table tennis table. So I'm going to go ahead and place it into the designated section and it should be able to clip in and it should stay in place. I have just turned the game into a table by adding these attachments here and it makes it really sturdy. There's some pieces on the bottom here so it grips onto the floor and this is what it looks like from the top and it stands up really nicely. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how each game works. So I have the foosball table here and then I have one of the balls. I'm just gonna let it roll. And then obviously you need another player and then that side, they're blocking it. So we're gonna try and kick it. And that person just kicked it into their own goal. So let's take a look at the next game. And let's move right along to the next game. So I have the next piece. There's two little bits here and you should just stick it in 
and it should grow right into the table and it's really sturdy. So now I'm going to be placing the net down. I showed you guys this before, so we'll push it in. And that goes like so. And then we use these balls for this game. And then I have one of the paddles on one side and then I have one on this side and I'll just show you how it works. So we'll just push it out like that and it should go to the other side and then you just keep playing. And if you wanna play air hockey after you finish ping pong, we just need to flip the table over. So I'm just going to flip it and push it in the inlets and it should stay nice and sturdy. I have everything set up and it's pretty self-explanatory. So you'd have two different people, obviously. That's not how it works, but you have to try and get it into the goal. So overall, I really hope you enjoyed this opening and review of some of the Chili Me items currently available at American Girl. So thanks for watching.